to you guys got another video here for you it's another repair video where we're going to try to repair some common error messages and uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how we can try to resolve these uh, with a Windows 10 uh, CD or USB flash drive now some of the error messages you'll see here can be fixed uh, by repairing the master boot record and stuff like that so if the system is non-bootable some of the more common startup problems are like corrupt a corrupt operating system files corrupt registry files failed operating system updates and uh, error loading uh, the operating system invalid partition tables also operating system not found which is a very common one and also reboot and select proper disk drive uh, or boot drive now also you may also have hardware or software or malware problems and these are not fixable with some of the stuff I'm showing you. You will need to take other action and these could be due to malware, uh, uh, ransomware, root kits and stuff like that, uh, faulty hard drives, uh, corrupt memory, all these things are uh, diagnosable and repairable but not by using this method. So just bear in mind some of the issues that you may be having that's stopping Windows booting up. I always see a lot of people posting on the forum and uh, when it what it works out to be is the hard drive is failing and they're getting loads of error messages and also Windows won't boot. So let's take a look at how we can go ahead and fix these issues. Now what will happen is if your system won't boot it will try to boot three times and then it will try to diagnose and repair which gives you the troubleshooting option but you can also use a Windows 10 CD and we're going to go into the BIOS here and change our boot order uh, to CD-ROM drive or USB flash drive which is removable devices. Once we do that we can push any key to boot to that device and then start to boot up to our Windows 10 uh, disk or USB flash drive which will give us this option which is Windows Setup. All we need to do here is click on the next button and then from here we can then click on the repair the computer and this is going to allow us to uh, get into the troubleshooting area where we can try to troubleshoot our problem. So we have a choose an option uh, here now. So we're going to go into troubleshoot, click on troubleshoot, and this will take us to the next pane. As you can see here, advanced options. Now we've got a few things that we can do here before we try to repair. We could try the startup repair. Now startup repair is going to try to fix any sort of boots up issues uh, that may be occurring with your system and this is always a good way to start off with okay now sometimes this is not um, fixable it won't fix by using this method and you have to use something a little bit more advanced so we're going to go ahead and try to use the startup method first and let this try to diagnose your PC and fix it now if this hasn't worked uh, you're going to go straight into advanced options or just repeat the process at the beginning of the video to get back to troubleshooting uh, pain okay and then we can then go from there so let's go ahead and uh, click on the advanced options tab again you will be at this one if you restarted so click troubleshoot now another option you've got is system restore so if you've set up a system restore on your system you may be able to roll back to a time when your computer was working properly now if this is the case you can roll back uh, take it a couple of days back when it was working and hopefully that fixes your problem most people don't set up system restore points so as you can see this one didn't work now another option you got here is go back to a previous version now if you do see this here you may have updated Windows and it may have failed or you may have had an issue and you can always come back into here and roll back to a previous working condition uh, by using that go back to a previous version of Windows. Now also you can see system image recovery. Now if you do have a system image uh, file which you can roll back to you can use that option as well. Now if you don't have that you're going to need to go into command prompt and uh, you can try these uh, commands here and hopefully fix uh, the boot record and try to fix your issue. So we're going to type in here boot rec and then space forward slash fix MBR and then push enter. You should see operation uh, completed successfully. Next we're going to go boot rec space forward slash fix boot and then push enter and you should see the operation completed successfully. Next up we're going to go boot rec space forward slash 
scan OS and this is going to scan the system and see if it can detect our operating system sometimes uh, your operating system is not found or it's not identified and it can't find it but it has successfully scanned for Windows installations and this is okay it's completed successfully and finally if you're still having issues we can also try the boot rec space forward slash and then we can go rebuild BCD and this is going to rebuild uh, our master boot record here and hopefully this will resolve our boot up issues if you've had issues with that and it will hopefully fix it now what we're going to do next is close all this off we don't need any of these windows anymore we can close this off and turn off the PC and reboot so once you've rebooted your PC you'll start getting the option here where it's loading up and hopefully it will load up to the desktop and you should have a resolved issue so these are the steps that you can do when you're having startup issues or boot up problems where you can't get to the desktop you can also try safe mode if you're still having issues and hopefully by using those commands you can resolve your problems now if you're still having issues you may have a hardware issue and you may need to do a little bit more investigation anyway thanks again for watching guys hope this one helped you out bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos